tiny little fingers in that little picture. It hurts. Right now at five, though, doctors have known for years that exercise can trigger asthma. But new research says many of those athletes, especially women, have been misdiagnosed. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here to tell us it's their vocal cords and there's a high-tech cure. Doctor. You know, that's right, Maurice. Imagine trying to run a race only to be forced to breathe through a straw on your last lap. That's the frightening sensation for millions of young athletes. Vocal cord dysfunction, or VCD, leads thousands to undergo surgery each year. Here's an easier way. Training for triathlons is more than just a hobby for Tyler Evans. He makes his living competing. So when Tyler started having serious breathing problems this past summer, he stood to lose more than just a few races. His income was at stake. I thought, you know, my career might be over at one point. You know, I, I might not be able to keep doing this. What if there's something not just career ending, but, you know, something that's life threatening? It was, there's a lot of things that were going on in my head. After seeing numerous doctors for everything from heart problems to asthma, Tyler went to National Jewish Health in Denver, where doctors diagnosed him with vocal cord dysfunction, or VCD. At certain times during exercise, Tyler's vocal cords began to spasm and close. It often is just terrifying. So independent of the effort required to breathe, there's this emotional effect. Unable to manage VCD with medicine, many patients turn to surgery. But Dr. Todd Olin instead puts athletes on an exercise bike and puts a camera in their throat. He then uses biofeedback, specialized breathing techniques, even speech therapists and psychologists to treat patients, not just in counseling sessions, but in the midst of strenuous exercise. I work with patients while they're pedaling as fast as they can on a bike or while they're running at 14 miles an hour on our treadmills so that they can learn this, these techniques under really intense situations. A new study shows it works. 75% of adolescent athletes had improved breathing without surgery, and 85% called it the most important therapy they'd ever received. Tyler got better and was able to avoid surgery and the months of training he would miss to recover. Now, because VCD is often mistaken for asthma, it isn't treated properly. So many athletes don't get better on asthma meds and quit their sports out of frustration. The study is, this study is the first to show VCD can be diagnosed and treated successfully without surgery. So the key there is if you're being told you've got exercise-induced asthma, but the medication isn't getting better, it's helping you get better, look to yeah. see if it's maybe something else like VCD. Yeah, second opinion, too. Yeah, always. Thank you, Doc. You bet.